Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty Side. Thank you very much for joining me today, I really appreciate that. Uh, we're gonna watch a video here from, uh, let me move it up, Ask Japan. I'm 50 years old and struggling with midlife crisis. My life is miserable. And on here, on the title thing, it says, my happiest moment of the day, $1.50 with Doritos and a soda. Oh boy, yeah, that's tough. Uh, I have not seen this, so we'll get right into it. Hi, it's almost 9 o'clock p.m. on Monday night. Okay. I have just come, from, come home from my office to work today, and uh, I'm in the closet. Why? Because this place in the closet, I can feel happiness, actually. And uh, still, my wife and my two kids, eight years old son and uh, four years old the daughter, are still in the living room in at the first floor. And I'm I'm in the second floor in the closet, and uh, I feel like my happiest moment in the day. So, hold on. So this guy's got a wife and two kids, and he'd rather be up in the closet by himself with chips and a soda. That's his happiest part of the day. Damn, something's wrong, dude. I'm, I'm going to toast my happy moment with my favorite combination uh, between a thrasher shirt. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I miss Japan. I've been there a bunch, guys. Japan's awesome. Look at how clean and tidy and neat everything is. That That is how it is through the whole country. It's beautiful. So there's no screaming children. There's no stupid loud kids. Loud people in general how clean it is. Pepusi. Pepusi. And uh, Doritos, always. My favorite. I bought. Get some ASMR right room. there. At like $1.5. This is the, my happiest moment in the day. Because. I don't know if you can imagine that my family hierarchy, hierarchy, so I'm in the bottom. Oh shit. Oh boy. And uh, you know, my two kids and my wife look down on me. Oh man. I gotta interrupt real quick, sorry guys. This is, oh, this sucks. Oh boy, that then, oh man, yeah, that's that's not a marriage. And the problem is, I mean, part of the problem, and maybe he'll get more into this, but part of the problem is that you're locking yourself away and they see that as like bitch behavior by hiding. Like, he's essentially hiding. You know, if, if they, they're not going to respect a guy that runs and hides when things get tough or if he's not having the best day. Oh, man. But let's, let's continue. So I'm really comfortable. If I stay alone. 
So my two kids usually go to bed at nine o'clock. So they are going to go upstairs very soon. Until then, I'm going to enjoy my precious time. So the reason why I do drink Pepsi instead of beer or other alcohol. I have a, a little problem. Oh, I bet. With my blood pressure, I have high blood pressure. So according to well, the latest medical check. Real quick, eating Doritos and drinking pop every day is not going to be helping your blood pressure either. That's You're eating poison and literal crap. That's not even food. Like, guys, know, that's... That's a different video. We don't have time to talk about that right now. But eating this crap, eating and drinking this crap is not helping your blood pressure either, brother. I should stop drinking. Doctor said. So that's why actually I quit drinking for over two and three years. That's good. Since the last time Props to my him. doctor gave us gave me um advice that I should quit drinking beer so since then my you know, precious time has been drinking uh pepsi and uh pe drinking pot pepsi and uh, eating doritos i know that you know some of you may say you know maybe the drinking pepsi is not a good for your entire health <laughs> and even it's not a good for you have high high blood pressure yeah but i thought that you know it will be much better than drinking beer or other sure. alcohol and uh, yeah. i think i believe since then i have been very healthy no 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 not if you're eating and drinking that shit now hmm. So, another big, big typhoon, another big, big typhoon will hit entire Japan within this week. We will have another big confusion. So last time, I didn't really understand what he said, but previous typhoon. Hit oh, typhoon! Here in Japan. Yeah, they get those a lot. There was a big, big confusion, and the next one will be the tenth typhoon for this season. Wow! It is. It seems like a little bit unusual. Mm -hmm. Within you know August, still be August. We usually have like typhoon number, I don't uh, know, maybe fifth or sixth. But this season, this summer, we have we have heard tenth typhoon hitting in Japan. So maybe it is due to the global warming, and it is due to that change of the entire yeah, yeah. climate condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy rain. I'm just sorry, guys. Start again. Stopped for like mid temperature. So, and the uh, election has been heating up, heating up. Oh. The election of to be select the leader of uh -huh. the ruling party. Yep. So, the current leader of the ruling party, meaning the current prime minister of Japan, Kumio Kishida, is not, go is not going to run the next election. Mm. So, he's going to retire. He's going to step down from the position of the prime minister of Japan. So we will soon new prime minister in coming October, November. Okay. So um, people, many, many people have been paying the biggest attention to the election, who is going to become next prime minister of Japan. So I don't care. So that my 
my biggest concern is not the who will become the prime minister. My biggest concern is what our future, what our life in the future will look like after maybe 20 or 30 years when my kids are growing up to be adult. That's my biggest concern. So, but uh, we want to take a look at how it is going to proceed, proceed to the, you know, the election. So anyway, it's still Monday and I, I feel like very miserable. But I have to go forward. Yep. I have to move forward. <clears throat> I yep. have to keep, you know, do my best to support my family. That hates you. <laughs> let's see what some of the comments say here. Um, let's see. Well, I guess we'll do top comments. All right, that's fine. Uh, what what a time to be alive. Here I'm sitting in the middle of nowhere, Canada, watching a Japanese man in his closet tell me about his day. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, there was something just really sad about that dude, and like, just that he's hiding, his kids don't respect him, his wife obviously doesn't respect him, you know, I wonder the last time they even were intimate, like had sex, it's probably been forever, you know, because, but I kind of don't blame her, it's like, yeah, things can suck dude, but you gotta, you can't just go run and hide guys, like, Man, you got to make some kind of effort, you know. I mean, and props to him for kicking the the alcohol. That was probably a good idea because if he kept going down that route, he'd probably get more and more alcoholic, and then that would turn into a shit show for sure. But um, man, that sucks. I hope he can get out of this slump, dude. Jeez, uh, I'm a 35 year old man. Business is falling apart. Full time father going through a breakup from a 10 year relationship. Woohoo! Engine failed in my car today and having trouble paying the rent. That's doing three days. Hang in there, my brother. We have to keep pushing. I'm not going to quit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the saddest thing I've learned as an adult is that you don't ever begin feeling like one. You're just a kid with a lot of responsibilities and heartache. Ooh, damn. I think this thing we call being an adult is just the final step in getting rid of everything we held dear. Man, I don't know. I don't know, dude, but... Yeah, I hope this guy can, like, I hope he can kick out of it and start feeling better. And uh, I think the first thing that he can do is stop hiding, get involved with your family's life. As much as they don't like you and you don't like them, you got to push through it, dude. Stop eating this garbage. Start working out. That's what I have to say. A little bit longer one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I love you all. Please don't have, end up like this guy. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.